Hello everyone, I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gould and welcome to Vegas Vibes. On Vegas Vibes, I'll be featuring amazingly talented people from many walks of life who contribute to making Las Vegas a unique global brand. And on that note, here with us today, we have Mr. Roy Hamilton Jr., a singer, songwriter, and a star. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks well, for well, I'm delighted to have you. Yes. Thank you for your time. Well, I guess we can start off from where you came from. Yes. Your father is the late, legendary Roy Hamilton Sr. Yes. Right? And I'm sure he has a great influence on you. Mm -hmm. And were there any of your father's specific accomplishments which shaped you to who or where you are today? Oh, most definitely. Um, well, his influences on me was very uh, pronounced. Uh, when he I first realized that he was a singer and he was a movie star. How so, old were you when you realized, oh my God, my, fa my father is a star? I saw some pictures of him with Elvis Presley. Yes. I was like, wow. Like four years old. And um, I was in school. And you know, when you were kids, you know, you just, you know, you're just there. But then one of my friends came up and said, your dad's a movie star. Like, wow. Oh, he did what? movies as well. Yeah, he did two movies. Oh, wow. Yeah. Also called Let's Rock on Columbia Pictures. And your father was the original singer of Unchained Melody, which was mm -hmm. popularized by Righteous Brothers, of course, as we all know. Absolutely. And now uh, you'll never walk alone. That's right. That's his first hit in 1954. It was recorded under Epic Records, and uh, he got his first start. Actually, he was the one. He was the first artist, well, one of the first artists on, on Epic Records, which is now Sony. Everybody knows it's Sony, you know, mm. and, you know. So it was very, very uh, a, a good time for him that uh, his uh, manager, Bill Cook, uh, introduced him to, uh, to uh, the, the people up in Columbia, which is uh, the uh, subsidiary of uh, uh, Epic Records. So uh, that's how it started. And uh, he recorded uh, uh, You'll Never Walk Alone, which is the first one. And then the other side was uh, Ebb Tide, which is another very big, uh, very successful hit for him, and then he just went on. Uh, it's, um, his influence on me was just amazing because um, I used to sit by the record player and listen to all of his music. And, At the uh, age of four? Well, yeah, five and five. six, yeah, as I went along, you know. And they, they let me you know, listen to the music, and I really enjoyed you know, hearing my dad, so he was like my biggest and greatest influence of, of music. Okay. Well, is that mm -hmm. some, so you can say that ever since you were a child, that's something you want to be a part of or yes, I what you wanted like to do. Like just exactly just like to be like yeah. your dad. Yes. So, uh, you know, being here in Las Vegas is a, a great opportunity, you know, for me to, um, you know, pr Are you originally from here? Not from originally. Las Vegas. For, actually, uh, I was born in New York. Mm -hmm. New York people out there, hey, you know. And um, uh, I grew up. Uh, Mainly, uh, we, we moved around a lot after a while. Uh, we stayed in New Rochelle, New York. That was where we were, you know. And uh, my dad, we traveled around with him quite a bit. So, so what fun. made you come to Las Vegas? Well, I came for the music, you know. This, um, for obvious reasons, it's because it's so accessible yeah. uh, to venues right. and shows. entertainment capital of the world, yes. you know. So it's so many venues here to, w that, uh, that respect the live music. And uh, I just wanted to be a part of it. So uh, we decided to move here. And you're a singer-songwriter, and you have shows in town. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do have a few shows here that we're, we're, uh, we're uh, working on. Um, the biggest one is uh, right here in Las Vegas. Um, it's going to be July 20th. It's going to be the 49th anniversary of his, my dad's passing. The big tribute, so yes. The big tribute. So we're going to have a 17-piece big band orchestra. It's going to be f featured with all my father's original charts, and uh, it's going to be with... Uh, Bruce Harper Orchestra. Sounds so, amazing. Yeah, it's, a, it's awesome. Wow. <laughs> yes. So and it's gonna be it's gonna be at the Ronda Cars Event Center. So right don't here. miss that. That's on. On the Las Vegas Strip. It's yes. gonna be uh, twelve oh six, Las Vegas Boulevard. From what time? Um, it's gonna be to start from uh, five thirty. Seating starts at five thirty, and the show starts at seven. Amazing. Let's talk awesome. about you. Um, what? Do you, would you like to accomplish in your music career? Where do you see yourself going? 
Well, I'd like to continue. Because I know you have, uh, since you're a song, singer-songwriter, mm -hmm. you have composed a beautiful song for your lovely wife. And it's called 1,000 ways, ways, ways to Love, love You. Yeah, 1,000 wow. Ways to Love You. How did you come up with that? Well, for obvious reasons, well, again, because you have a very lovely wife and you're in <laughs> love. You. And it's so easy to create something like that from, mm. from her heart. So, yeah, yeah tell us more it about that. It is like, um, you know, 1,000 Ways, uh, you know, when you want to listen to the one you love and... Um, you want to, uh, you know, like show how much you appreciate and uh, and love that person. So you want to give them many ways, you know. So the one of the ways was <laughs> to writing a song about. You know, how did she react when, on that she, song? She loved it. She loved. Oh, I bet she did. Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been married? We've been married 39 years. What's the secret to that? <laughs> I can hear her in the background. She takes care of you. She's yes, always she there, right? In, yes, she's in always there. Each and every performance you have. That's right. So that's she, that's mm -hmm. really something. You have a keeper there. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. no wonder it lasted. I mean, it's lasting, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, she's uh, one half, you know. 39 only, years. She's my other half. And yeah, we, we work together as a team, you know, and we produce this, the show together. Um, you know, she does the announcing and, you know, I do the singing. <laughs> it's really fun, you know, to be able to accomplish, uh, uh, you know, such a great, you know, honor, you know, for 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 our dad. You know, um, I'm just one of seven of you know siblings. You know. Oh and wow! I'm, yeah. Uh, do they all sing as well? No. Your six don't. siblings? Oh yes, no. No, they don't. Just you? Yes. Yeah, oh me. wow! And yeah. you carry your father's legacy, his mm -hmm. name. Yes. So. Is really great to Couldn't just be, be even more perfect yeah, than yeah, that. Yes, it is. It's really you know, it's destiny. You know, because when I was I was born very you know, premature actually, so it's just a miracle that I'm even here. <laughs> you know, and uh, and after that it just you know we just worked and worked and I continue to build on you know what you know Dad accomplished. You know, which is a strong legacy. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I have mentioned earlier that I saw a picture of your dad with Elvis Presley. Mm -hmm. Do you already kind of recognize that, oh my God, my, my father is with a big star. Right. So who are the other uh, influence, or he has influence, mm -hmm. he had influence in his lifetime? Well, Elvis Presley was, um, well, they were good friends. And um, my dad actually um, uh, uh, coached Elvis, you know, with uh, his vocal training. Oh, wow. So yeah, he 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 helped he was to train also a coach, Elvis, a a vocal, vocal coach. coach for Elvis, oh. and um, they worked together in the studio. And Elvis actually gave my dad a song um, down in Chips Mormon Studios. And then he thought that my dad would be able to sing it better than he could. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. You know, I've been and the song was called Angelica. Wow! Yeah. I've been to his house in uh, yeah. Memphis. Yes, I still. In yeah, Graceland. Beautiful home. Yes. Yeah, my dad was actually one of the first people actually to even go upstairs and tour the whole house, you know, and very few people got a chance to do that. You know, I wish we have more time, mm -hmm. but for my last question, before I let you plug your shows, what pieces of advice or word of wisdom would you like to impart to all our global audience? Who would like to do what you do? Wow, you know, there's so many um, talented people here in um, Las Vegas and here in the world, and I would just tell each and every one of you, um, just keep going, keep doing, keep, you know, no matter what, because it's a lot of um, challenges and, and, you know, sometimes hardships, but you got to keep going. And, you know, you have a dream that you want to accomplish to keep, continue to follow it and uh, you'll succeed. But don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep going. And also, you remember, you'll never walk alone, which was my dad's <laughs> greatest hit. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Doing. It's Thank such you. a delight to it's have such you. Pleasure. Thank, you. Thank you for you. your time again. And I yes. wish you good luck to all your endeavors. Thank you. And please invite all our friends to watch your upcoming show. Great. Okay. It's going to be at Ronda Cars at Ben Center right here in Las Vegas. It's going to be July 20th, uh, 7 o'clock, right here on um, 1206 Las Vegas Boulevard. You can get your tickets at Eventbrite. And uh, also, uh, you can know more about Roy Hamilton at RoyHamilton.net. Thank you, Mr. Roy Hamilton, Jr. It's such a pleasure. Thank you. Take care. I would like to thank Anna Stewart Billings of Anne Fontaine for my wardrobe today. They are located at the Forum Shops inside Caesars Palace. I'm Esmeralda Padilla-Gold. Catch me again next time as I feature another amazing personality here on Vegas Vibes.